Hey, what's going on, guys? So today's the day. We're gonna pull the plugs out, replace the wires, replace the um, the coil in here and the spark plugs. Uh, reason being, um, if you guys remember, um, I had a fuel leak in the manifold, which is the pressure regulator, and I swapped that out. But before I did that, I did a tune-up on it, and uh, I put new distributor in, new cap rotor, um, wires, plugs, and um, I had the same problem still. So I put the manifold up, and I had um, leaking fuel pressure regulator, leaking fuel pressure regulator in the manifold. And you guys had a Vortec five sevens, you know, five O's, four threes, you know, it's all internal. So I'm thinking that I fouled out some plugs because um, I have a slight um, misfire or backfire. So I got here, I got uh, new plugs, some new wires, new coil. Um, like I said, the, the distributor, the cap and rotor, that's all brand new. Um, so I'm going to pull these plugs out, pop in the new plugs, redo the wires, and put the coil on. And um, we're going to call it a day, see if that helps it out. If not, then I'm going to have to source something else to see what's going on with this. <laughs> um, this should be about an hour, maybe, if I don't film, it, film everything, which I probably won't because... There's, you guys probably seen this so, so many times um, on YouTube, or whatever. So I'm not gonna probably even bother, um, you know, filming all of this stuff and clean the engine bay. Actually, if you're wondering what that is right there, um, the truck previously previously had airbags on it a couple years ago. That pump doesn't work. I gotta get that off. Actually, um, this guy no wants to take it, and and I get that off. Um, I might go buy a um speed shop up here and get me a volant intake maybe if they even have one which i doubt they do because if you order stuff online they get it to you online but they don't have anything like the same day you order stuff which is weird so see what happens so i'm gonna get this um get the plugs out put the coil the coil off and the coil that coil that's on there that's a um excel excel coil um this one i got in here it's um brand bwd i got it from o'reilly's and um i might take it back and get and get another coil the one i've been using i don't know yet so um let me get this stuff started and um i'll bring you guys back when i pull the plugs out all right okay guys so in the midst of me getting the coil off this is the old coil and that's how it looks on the inside of it so then I looked at the, the plug wire for the coil that leads to the coil. <sighs> Get my fat ass up. Get my shoe. So the coil wire that goes to the coil. Which one was it? Uh... Oh, here it is right here. If you can see in there, it's pretty bad in there. <sighs> so I pulled the coil off the whole bracket. Everything right here. So I'm mount it all up. Get this rock out of my shoe. I'll be happy. So, yep. That was part of the problem also, too. It was a bad coil. That coil has been in there since, uh, for three years now. It's been there since 20, 2015. So I'm going to finish this up and uh, bring you guys back. I get the coil and everything put back in. I got the plugs put in on the passenger side. So I'm doing everything on the passenger side of the truck now because... Sun's coming up on this side, so I'm doing everything on the passenger side of the truck right now. So the coil, the um, spark plugs, I'm going to do the wires last. And then I might go to the place and get a new intake. I don't know. This is how I feel. Alright guys, I got the new coil hooked up. Um, the old coil was, as you saw in the last clip, it was pretty beat up. Got the new coil in. Um, I'm getting the, the driver's side um, plugs, old plugs in and out putting new plug in right now as we speak and then um hook everything back up i got the battery disconnected because i unplugged my egr yesterday let the computer resell on that and then once i get these plugs in run these wires we should be good to go they should fix the problem um i'm starting to look at it more and i think that coil back there my old coil which is over there um was was the problem because it was um corroded it was corroding nothing everywhere i, I could have cleaned it up probably but i bought another one so um I was paying to ask, getting that in and out. But, um, yeah, let me finish up this and then, um, 
run the wire, put the new, pull the old plugs, put the new plugs in, run the wires, uh, hook everything back up, and then um, we should be good. Hopefully, in theory. And then I may, like I said, I may go to the store and grab me a Volant intake if they have one. If not, then I won't go. I won't even bother getting one. I probably order one on eBay or whatever or something like that. Reason being is because it's not like airbox is cool. Um, just it's just you know. A lot of baffles in this thing, man. It's got a baffle right here. The air comes into here, comes in from the fender, and then it's a hole right here, which is this. Runs in here, I fill it up, and then it back feeds to the filter. Um, then the Vortec box, you know, another day giveaway, basically. Uh, the Volant one is a straight to the metal, straight to the uh, throttle body. Um, haven't done the uh, the mod for it yet. With that, uh, but I might I might go to uh, CFM Tech and order one for like 190 bucks maybe, or a BBK one. I don't know, depending on how I feel. I'm feeling real real sporty this year with this truck. Um, probably wondering why I haven't done anything with the paint outside anything. Um, I'm focused on motor on, on motor stuff right now. I'm working, I'm working on motor stuff. So um, um, I'm probably thinking, well, why not put the headers on there? I haven't ordered them yet. Um, I'm looking at running maybe um, Paysetter shorties. Um, Maybe, um, buddy of mine has a pace setter long tubes and he likes them. Um, but that and then getting the e fans put on, I've been saying that forever, just haven't really ordered them yet, honestly. Just waiting to order them, really. So, I'm gonna finish up, you know, the spark plugs and the wires and put everything back together, and I'll bring it back when it's all done. All right, y'all, see y'all. Okay, I got all eight plugs in. Uh, it was funny on this side uh the last two plugs towards the back were like hand tight that's weird but um run these wires i got a uh, some Rosso wires seven millimeter these are seven and a half i think got some new wires and uh, i'm gonna go ahead and start you know mapping the wires out and everything and um when i finish everything man i'll bring you guys back with everything else coming along the only issue I had was that coil that was the only issue I really had was that other than that, everything's been going together fine so um yeah these are all my stuff my air with the n-tip sensor and the map sensor and everything so I'm gonna finish up this try to get this compressor out actually too um, while everything's kind of off pressure wash some of this stuff and that'll be good all right guys later All right, guys, I'm all finished up here. Got everything plugged back up. Got the intake back on. Got the map, everything hooked back up. The air inlet temp sender thing that's plugged back up also. Um, couldn't get the compressor out. Some of the screws in there are stripped and everything, so I'm going to cut them out probably. Um, got the wires ran. Got the new plugs and new coil in, so we're going to fire it off. See what's going on with it. Keys. <sighs> Heard the fuel pump cut on. No check engine lights, cool. Everything's running good. I hate that fan. Oh, I hate that fan. I hate that fan. All right, I guess the problem's fixed. I'm let it run for a while. He's got like a really, really bad gas smell on my exhaust. You can tell my tips are freaking black from just unburnt fuel and, you know, carbon and everything. So, it was the problem right here was this. It wasn't broke like this. Focus, focus, there you go. Focus, focus. Okay, there we go. It wasn't broke like that when I pulled it out. I actually dropped it. But when I pulled the plug, the coil wire off the coil, looked into it, it was corroded like that. So, getting better spark to it now. I got some uh, chassis grounds clean up and everything, but that's it. So it's all done. What do you guys think, should I pull this bait liner out? Keep it in here. 
it's nothing really under it really but I don't know so yeah that Dynamax bullet race muffler another one on, uh, this one also you can probably see it that silver thing under there that's it right there all right man I'm gonna probably check this oil in here I gotta change one of them I don't know which one it is but it's all good now so I'm gonna edit this video with the other ones and then I gotta post my exhaust video for the Suburban I gotta edit that one still also too I'm slacking I know it's been really really busy with the cars this weekend but um, I'll catch y'all in a minute and uh, on the next video alright later